So let us start this 237 lab. Manage file permissions. Two thirty-seven. This is related to permissions. Permissions is a very important topic. Let us do this lab. You start this lab. So the objectives of this lab is change all folder file permissions to match the appropriate group structure. We are going to learn about file permissions and modify file permissions for a user. We'll also do a modification of the existing for user. Okay, and finally update the company folder structure. This one also very simple. Very simple. So the duration is only 35 minutes to complete this lab. So we just started this lab in a couple of minutes, the lab should be ready. The first task is always uh, common, is that connect to the uh, AWS uh, instance, Linux instance. Once you are done, we can learn about the ownership of these files. Task number two. Yeah, is this clear? So just wait till the task one is completed. Yeah, my lab is started. So what I do, I go for details. So let me finish off this task one before we start our current lab. So copy this, uh, uh, what, what is that public IP? Download this PPK. PPK will be changing for each and every lab. In this 13. So I just completed task one. Yes, sir. Okay. So here change the folder ownership. He is asking me to change the folder ownership completely. First itself. So HR folder, you see this company A folder is owned by CEO uh, to the CEO and uh, group to personal. He wants you please. Is asking you to do this particular activity. Uh, you see this company a folder ownership to CEO. Uh, we will learn about that. HR folder ownership to HR manager and ownership to HR. Finance folder ownership to uh, finance manager and a group ownership to finance like that. So ownership, let us understand that. So to validate that you are in company a folder. We are not in company a folder. We need to go to company a folder. How to do that? So if you say LL, you see that there is a company A folder. So I'll say I'll go to company A folder. Now I'm in company folder. How do I know how I'm in company folder? You can say PWD. Yeah, you are in company folder, right? And there are several folders here, several folders. Like he's asking you to change the ownership. See all these files and folders are owned by EC2 Heaven user, but groups are different. Yeah. You ready? Point number 28. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So here to change the ownership of company A folder structure to the CEO uh, M. Jackson, M. Jackson and group ownership personal to uh, you can say M. Jackson colon personal and company A and press center. You can change in that particular way. Sudo. Copy this. Otherwise, you can type manually also and press enter. Here. Hmm. Yeah, the ownership has been transferred. The ownership has been transferred to M. Jackson. M. Jackson. That part is done. And also the group owner to personnel. This particular one. And now HR. This HR to uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Juan. So you can just copy this uh, to HR. This particular folder, which is HR, sorry, easy to hyphen user HR. We are trying to change the ownership. So it says operation not permitted. 
to change the ownership of HR. It's not permitted. El Juan. El Juan, he, he is not allowing. Le Juan, Le Juan, El Juan. It's not allowing. This is uh, not my ownership. So it's not allowing. It's not allowing. So. In front of it, just type pseudo. Ah, uh, pseudo. He has, has he given? So if you give pseudo, it will work. Definitely it will work. Definitely it will work. Let, let me check. Yeah, yeah, sudo is also there. I missed out. I was working from this command only. Sudo is also there. Yeah. So sudo. Without sudo, it will not work. Anyway, you have tested that. It will not work. So now next one. Similarly, you can see it's own this one uh, of finance, basically. Of finance. So you are basically transferring your ownership of your M major column finance. This is the pile owner and this is the group of your HR finance. Sorry. Yes, is missing. Yeah, it is done. It is done. We will verify all those things also. And finally, you can say ls minus lar. That is uh, long form and of course recursive. Recursive. Yeah. Where is that? I have given here. You can see now uh, this hr has been transferred to L1 and HR. L1 and HR. This has been verified. Now, you can see this finance to M major and finance. M major and finance to finance. This is also verified. These two. Yeah, that's all. That's all. And it's showing all the other folders and files. So it should show like this, ls hyphen l. So this is about transferring ownership using ch own, ch own. Now let us learn about how to change permissions. Permissions is using ch mod, ch mod. C sudo also is needed because if you want to transfer or if you want to uh, do, if you are the owner, then only sudo is not required. If someone else ownership is there or group owner, if you want to modify, you need to have sudo. So I'll discuss about sudo later in a uh, sudo file uh, when we discuss about administration. So now the task number three. Task number three is something which is related to ch mod. That is permissions. Let us change some permissions. So ensure that you are in company A. I think we are there in company A only folder. Yeah. I'll say CLEAR. PWD. I'm in company A. Fine. So use a VI editor. We are creating a file called as symbolic mode file. So you can make use sudo VI. There is a file. You will add some data to that. So earlier we did with touch also. Now you can use with VI. I'm sure that sudo S is also there. So the file sudo symbolic mode file is open. So no need to add any data. Just save and close. Basically, you can do even with touch command also. So just to ensure that you are creating a file. So I have created a file which will be like this. Symbolic with zero bytes. But the ownership, you see, it is a root root. And also, these are the file permissions. These are the file permissions. So file permissions are for the owner. It is read, right? For other, I mean, a group, it is read. For others, it is read. This is 644. 
644 is the permissions which is set. So now he is asking you to change the permissions to 764. 764 of this particular file. So how to do? Very simple. I have highlighted sudo chmod 764 and the file name. Same, 764 and the file name. That is symbolic mode file, right? Absolute mode file. Okay. Oh, there is one more file which you need to create. Two files you need to create. We created only one. We create one more thing. Symbolic mode file and absolute mode file. Rather than later on, we can run. So I forgot to add this one. Just create another file. So there will be two files here. Two files. One is absolute mode file. The other one is symbolic mode file. So now uh, you can say chmod for the absolute mode file. So here for this file, you are basically changing the mode. I mean uh, the file permissions. This is 644, we are making it 764. If you make it 764, this will become rewrite execute, rewrite hyphen and read hyphen hyphen in that way. That is 764. Okay, you can verify. Yeah, it is 764. It is 764. This is 7, 6 and 4. LS hyphen L. It will show you like this. This is task number 3. You still see symbolic mode is uh, 644 only. This is 764. Got it everyone? Yes sir. Absolute mode. So this is how you can make use. I mean to change my ch mod. I mean to change the file ownership. File ownership. Uh, sorry not file ownership. File permissions. So assign permissions. So this is task number four. To validate that you are in company folder, press PWD. Yes, we are already in PWD uh, company folder only. Yeah, it is. It is. This is point number 44, 41. To change the ownership of shipping folder to EOWUSU. EOW. So earlier also we did. Now once again we are going to do sudo. And you can say chown. CHO, you are making an ownership change uh, to EOS, uh, sorry, EOW, USU, colon shipping, and the folder is shipping. This one. So earlier, this is uh, belongs to M. Jackson's personal. You are basically transferring this to, yeah, and you can verify also. So earlier, it is like this. Yeah, now it is EOW SEO to shipping. Yeah, you can see this. Did you observe the change from M. Jackson to the new owner is EOW USU, the group owner personal to shipping? Yeah. Similarly, we can transfer this uh, one sales folder also. Uh, ownership to Envolve. Envolve column sales. So earlier the sales is uh, basically M. Jackson personal. You are transferring this one. Yeah. You can see the earlier one. Now the new one. Envolve sales. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see ls hyphen lar. Uh, you can see for shipping and sales also. This is the last command. ls hyphen la and capital R. So it will show each and every folders the sales, which is now annual.
they like this. We are done. Any questions, anyone? So this is uh, the lab completion. We have successfully completed two that is a basic foundations he is teaching you. 